Tonight, with the breaking news, the aftershocks felt just moments ago in New York City and beyond after that earthquake hit this morning, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that struck at 1023 this morning in White House Station, New Jersey, right between New York City and Philadelphia. These aftershocks moments ago registering a 4.0, almost as big as the earthquake itself. Now, the earthquake this morning rocking millions from Maryland right up to Maine, triggering confusion at first and then alarm ground stops at New York airports. The epicenter in New Jersey, some 40 miles west of New York City, 60 miles north of Philadelphia, the strongest in the area in more than 100 years. You can see the shaking in the live stream from the EarthCam webcam right at the top of the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. That was quite something. And the rumbling. You can see it and hear it in this home in Middlesex, New Jersey. Pictures shaken off the walls, falling to the floor. A startled dog jumping from the window on the back of the couch there. Customers rushing out of a coffee shop. This was in Boonton, New Jersey. And the moment of confusion during a live streamed event from New Jersey, taking off the headset there, not knowing what was going on. In Newark tonight, three buildings evacuated and condemned after suffering serious damage right during the earthquake. And as I mentioned off the top tonight, the aftershocks just moments ago. So senior meteorologist Rob Marciano is standing by in all of this and what could still be coming. And ABC's Trevor Alt leading us off in Newark tonight. Tonight, millions in the Northeast on alert for aftershocks after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake rattled much of the eastern seaboard. The quake striking at 1023 this morning, centered about 45 miles west of New York City in White House Station, New Jersey. Our New York Station WABC broadcasting live, taking calls from alarmed viewers near the epicenter. We were sitting on a couch and we originally thought that something exploded outside. Wow. Um, then it starts shaking very, very, very violently. Um, I mean, this explosion was near deafening. It was, it was nuts. Um, and then we went outside on the deck after it kind of sailed down. You could feel the deck railing shaking like a jackhammer. It's the strongest quake to hit the Garden State since the 1700s, lasting more than 30 seconds. I thought it was like a truck driving past because sometimes my house will shake from that. And then I realized that can't happen from a truck. So I called my mom. I was like, Mom, is this an earthquake? She started screaming. She's like, get outside, <laughs> get outside. Security cameras catching its shaking home, sending pets panicking. People running to safety out of this cafe. The shaking coming mid haircut at this barber shop. The tremors felt from Maryland to Maine and major metros like Philadelphia in New York City, jolting the earth cam atop the Statue of Liberty. We were actually stopped on the George Washington Bridge and we felt something rumble. We didn't know if it was cars going by us or what it was. But it felt like a joke. And you saw cars go like this, kind of shake back and forth. They even felt it during batting practice for opening day at Yankee Stadium. I felt something. I thought, right? And, and then, yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm glad to hear it because I, I know that I'm not going crazy now. Multiple airports issuing ground stops. Newark Airport alerting pilots. All right, Southern Shore aircraft uh, awaiting departure. It seems like the, the uh, tower is going to be evacuated. The NYPD using drones to inspect bridges. We've not identified any life-threatening situations, but we are certainly asking our local law enforcement and emergency services teams to be on guard for that as well. Today's quake striking along what's known as the Ramapo Fault, which spans about 185 miles across New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Significant quakes on the East Coast are rare, but do happen. In 2011, a 5.8 quake centered in Virginia was felt by millions in more than a dozen states, even cracking part of the Washington Monument. Quake expert Dr. Lucy Jones said had this quake been centered under a major city, the damage could have been much more severe. I think to be getting substantial damage, you need to be getting larger five and a half to six and you need to be putting it in an urban area. And David, three of these homes here in Newark shifted during the quake. They've now been deemed unsafe and 10 families have been evacuated. David, we also just learned of that 4.0 aftershock that was registered not too far from here and it was also felt in New York City. David. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.